So actually, um, what is the deferral? When we talk about a deferral, deferral is like um, a business partner temporarily unable to settle their amount or open items. So they request a new debt. So from the utility perspective, actually we postpone the date of collection. Okay. And that is called the deferral. As a rule, additional surcharges, charges, and interest rate are not applied for that. Okay. So that we call a deferral. Now, this uh, deferral date, when we get the customer is not able to done, means the dunning will not apply for that person if he get a deferral date. Okay. So most of the cases for the deferral date, there are no extra amount applied for that customer. Okay. Now, if he is not able to pay within that deferral date, what we do, we delete that deferral date and we put them into dunning. So deferral date is nothing. It's like a new date within the customer processing. Okay. So whatever the date is there, we are just giving a extra miles. So old due date is 5 January. So we give them some extra date or it's uh, 1st of May. We give one month extra. Uh, 1st of June would be the date to pay. The amount is same. Everything is same. Only the date get changed. Posting date is changed. Okay. So this is the deferral and it can be done manually. It can be done automatically. So now how to put that deferral? So we have a directly link to choose a deferral date. So on the due date, we need to apply the deferral date. And once we apply the deferral date, we need to apply well, whether we need to apply the interest on top of that or not. Pre or interest we need to apply. So here you can see in our example, um, the due on each first of May, uh, but we generate a one installation plan. So we have a concept called create installation plan. So in that we are just created one installation plan. And in that installation plan, we applied the business partner and the open items of the open item one. So open item one, class one that means for single open item we apply and we created a new due date which is first of june so this is called the deferral single installation plan given to the customer now if the single installation plan instead of in in one uh, installation date uh, sorry one deferral date if we provide multiple dates and divide that the total amount that we call the installation plan, right? So, and then you can add the interest or not. That's up to you, the utility industry. But when you have a open item one, okay, or let it be open item two. There are two open items and you add both of them, okay? And you think that, okay, we need to apply something on top of that in different, different dates. So here, the open item is there till uh, 15th of Feb. Okay. So they requested for installation plan. So in that case, we created the open item one class one, which is some part of the payment, which is due date first of March. Then open item one class two for first of April, open item one class three for first of May and for First of June, like that, we created the whole structure. This is called the installation plan. Okay. So when we apply the installation plan, I didn't save yesterday, I don't know. You can see the technical view. So the open items would be there, but it divided into multiple segments, okay, with different, different dates. So this is the configuration under which we need to do at the installation level. Hmm. So that's the total. So when we create the installation plan, we can use the 
the document number, the item number, means the open item number, the groups, the repetition groups, the amount, whether it's negative or positive, the repetition item for from the FICA segment, okay, and the dates, net due dates. Those are details we can observe and we can apply. Okay. All right. All right. So the installation plan flow. So selecting based on the parameters, we apply the installation plan by FPR2. And once we apply that, uh, these parameters we need to apply like the installation amount, due date, create or delete the installation instrument. Uh, if they are not paid, we, we need to deactivate, delete that plan, and uh, uh, and we need to apply the more interest or supplements, like whether it's free or the installation plan, need to hold some extra charges. So those all details we need to apply when we create the installation plan. And once we delete the um, the installation plan, automatically the dunning come into picture and <clears throat> the and dunning interest need to be applied. If we apply, so the dunning will be stopped, logged, and the installation plan will go on. Okay. So nothing much in this, and we need to apply the interest calculation on top of the inflation plan by applying the interest E. Okay. So interest E we need to create uh, first and then apply that based on the timeline. Okay, so this is the configuration where we need to apply the, uh, the installation plans or calculations. So it is under the basic configuration, right? The installation and deferral is under the basic transactions and then we'll proceed. Okay, basic transactions. So define the value for installation plan, default value. Define the category for installation plan, plan type, all those details are there. Define the installation plan. Let's posting area, deactivate region, already there is a plan. Mm. The plan document is general document for AB. B means general document is there. Create a installation plan. No, what I'm expecting that now. Uh, Additional inflation plan activity. Okay. So here we are passing all the parameters and just looking categories. So the T code for installation plan. FPR. FPR. FPR2, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Sorry, no. It is different. Yeah.
Oh, okay, we need to create one. <clears throat> FPR one. FPR one is to create, yes. Yes. Um, so here you can see all the details are there. Currency, document number, contract account, business partner, company code. Let's keep it. Small partner. <clears throat> so business partner here is zero nine zero one data. <clears throat> Currency INR. Okay, there are no open items for this uh, particular contract account. That means there is no invoices for that. Contract 